as we commemorate DTEA, a century old institution, let us walk down the memory lane, let us recall our glorious past and the phenomenal ways in which this institution has lit the lamp of education in the lives of innumerable students and how it has fulfilled its mission of imparting education, moral values, culture and discipline to help build the leaders of tomorrow. It has seen thousands of students pass through its doors who have made their mark in varied fields ranging from administration, defense, finance, art and culture, cinema, engineering, management, law, medicine and many more which has contributed to the prosperity of the nation. The first seed of the tree of wisdom and knowledge, a Tamil school for the children of the linguistic minority Tamilian families who came to Delhi for a job was sown by the visionary late M. Gopal Iyer, who was then a financial advisor to the government of India on a cool autumn morning of 19th October 1923, the day of Vijay Dashmi, at his residence in Havelock Square in Gold Market. He was bestowed with the title of Rao Bahadur by the British and was popularly addressed as Rao Sahib. He had the far side to start a school initially for his daughter, Miss G. Meenakshi, as the first student in 1923. For this, he invited Mr. P. H. Sundaresa Iyer from Tirunel Valley as the first teacher to teach Tamil to his daughter. Thus, MEA got its first teacher, Sri P. H. Sundaresa Iyer, and the first student, Miss G. Meenakshi. During the British regime, the entire government machinery used to shift from Delhi to Shimla for four months during every summer. So, along went the South Indian employees of the government, their children and the Madrasi school which then operated from Nabha House in Shimla. The tree eventually spread its branches across the national capital. With the growing popularity of MEA, Scores of Tamilians joined the school and its journey of becoming an iconic landmark in the capital commenced. With the Tamilian community growing in Delhi, the like-minded members came together to register the school in 1925 as Madrasi School. So, from one teacher and one student in 1923, today in 2023, in its centenary year, it has grown to seven DTEA schools and boasts of nearly 7,000 students with 350 teachers. In January 1924, a primary school was opened in New Delhi that was given recognition in 1925. The school later shifted to a wing of Municipal Boys School on Reading Road, now known as Mandir Marg in 1931. A new building came up in 1945. The foundation stone was laid by W. Christie, Chief Commissioner of Delhi, and the first batch of students appeared for the Delhi Higher Secondary Examination in 1949. The school currently has a strength of 870 students who are being trained for the future by a staff of 48 teachers. MEA celebrated its Silver Jubilee in 1950. With increasing demand, the second branch of the Madrasi school at Lodi Estate was established in 1951. Its foundation stone was laid by Sri A.D. Pandit, ICS, Chief Commissioner of Delhi, on the 9th of May, 1954. The school was inaugurated by Sri K. Kamaraj, Chief Minister of Madras on 4th September 1955. The school upgraded to higher secondary in 1956 and to senior secondary in 1977. Today, the school has the strength of 1,226 students guided by 48 teachers. Seeing the growing success of the first two schools, 
the third branch was opened in Karol Bagh in 1953. The foundation stone was laid by Sri Bhakta Vatsalam, Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, on 16th April 1963. DTA Pusa Road was inaugurated on 20th April 1969 by Sri M. Karunanidhi, Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. The school upgraded to higher secondary in 1963 and senior secondary in 1969. Today, the school boasts of 1,021 cheerful students and 46 enigmatic teachers who are ever ready to facilitate the students. Five years later, in 1958, a middle school came up in Lakshmi Bai Nagar. The foundation stone for the school was laid by the then Prime Minister of India, Sri Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, on 10th December 1960. The school was upgraded to higher secondary in 1962 and senior secondary in 1963. Presently, the school has 1,097 students and 49 enthusiastic teachers. Next in line was the fifth school in Moti Bagh, which opened its doors for the students in 1961. The foundation stone of the school was laid on 23rd April 1972 by Dr. Kalainar M. Karunanidhi, Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu. The school was upgraded to senior secondary in 1977. Currently, the school beams with the smiles of 637 students and 34 teachers. The sixth branch sprouted in R.K. Puram in 1964. The foundation stone of this branch was laid by Sri K.S. Ramaswamy, Deputy Minister, Government of India on 23rd April 1971. The school upgraded itself to higher secondary in 1968 and then to senior secondary in 1979. Currently, the school echoes with the dreams of 880 students and 39 teachers. In 1973, another chapter was added in the history of DTEA with a new branch opening in Janakpuri. On 15th May 1977, his Holiness Jagat Guru Shankaracharya laid the foundation stone of DTEA Janakpuri. It was inaugurated by Sir H. E. Robert L. Wade, British High Commissioner in India. The school was upgraded to higher secondary in 1977 and the senior secondary in 1986. Currently, the school nourishes the future of 1,255 students and 46 teachers. The latest feather added to DTEA's golden cap is the 8th branch at Mayur Vihar that has an ultra-modern infrastructure and trail-blazing facilities. In 1972, the name of the association changed from Madrasi Education Association to Delhi Tamil Education Association and all the schools were renamed as DTEA schools. The idea that was sowed as a seed 100 years ago has branched out in all directions and DTEA has taken education to every child's doorstep. Today our schools are powered by solar panels, have state-of-the-art computer labs, library, high-tech science labs, Atal Tinkering Lab, Agastya Science Center, CCTV, digital boards, activity room, audio-visual room, play areas, electric bell, RO water system, rainwater harvesting, etc. to name a few. Students are trained to compete at state level and national level in scholastic as well as co-scholastic areas and have been bringing laurels to the schools. It is only commendable that what started as a modest beginning has taken giant strides and reached the pinnacle of success. DTEA will continue to climb the success ladder further and flourish and prosper in the years to come.
afternoon. My name is V. Kameswar Rao. I studied in the Lakshibai Nagar branch of the school, having completed the schooling in the year 1983. It is always a momentous occasion in the life of an institution when it reaches a rank mark. My memories of the school are very fresh. It is as if I passed out from the school only yesterday. On this momentous occasion, I extend my warm greetings to each and every one, including the management, the teachers, the staff, and the students made this institution grow manifold and attain greater heights. Thank you. Namaskar. I have the fondest memories of my days in the Mandir Mark School from the years 1964 to 70. We had wonderful teachers. In particular, I remember the legendary Bhuvaneshwari, Krishnaveni, Malati, and Mr. Sivaraman. Our batch, which passed out in 70, was considered revolutionary because we initiated cross-border communication. Hello friends, my name is Dr. Ashok Rajkopal. I'm an alumnus of the uh, DTA Mandir Mark School and I passed out in 1969. I think I was extremely blessed to have uh, wonderful teachers who influenced and shaped my life. We had uh, Professor uh, Rajaram, uh, Shivram Krishnan sir, Malti teacher, Patamal teacher, Indubala teacher, and last but not least, the mother figure of them all, Bhuvaneshwari teacher. I have really fond memories of my primary schooling days, DT Motibag and Arkipuram. Lots of extracurricular activities that I got exposure to. Went for a music recording to All India Radio that was played on Children's Day at early morning 6 a.m. Went for a play recording to Doodarshan in those days. Coming to school uh, early and playing cricket in our large ground before school used to start at 10 a.m. was really fun. A very good afternoon to one and all. I am V. Maitili. My association with DTA schools is more than five decades. I studied as a student for 11 years in DTA schools, worked as PGT physics for 27 years, and I was vice principal for two years, and I worked as principal for 11 years. It's an honor for me to have served DTA schools as academic director three years after my retirement. I express my deep gratitude to the DTA schools for making me what I am today. I would say that overall I enjoyed the life with the school and this it was really a wonderful time of those 10 years and I think eventually the foundation of what one can become like gets laid in the school and therefore school plays a very important role in the student's uh, development. It's a service that you do to the society for which God will be ever grateful to you more than the people. Thank you and good day. My name is V. Sridha, a student of the Lodi Estate branch of the DTA schools from 1956 to 1967. That the centenary celebrations of the school is being held in uh, January 2023. Over the years, the DTEF fraternity has grown manifold with students spread all over the world, excelling in various fields. The school taught us two basic pillars and foundation upon which we built our careers. One was self-discipline, the other was perseverance. Rest, everything fell in place because with these two, you can achieve a lot. And I think that the alumni has achieved really something big with these two characters. DTS School has played an important role in shaping me into the person which I am today. And for that, I will always be grateful to my school. Not only did it help me in development of my personality, but also in some skills which are still relevant for my prof professional life today. Although I was hesitant in participating into school events 
and competitions. My teachers mentored and encouraged me to participate in various programs. After some time, I started participating into debates and other competitions and haven't stopped since.